often described as a silent killer because it rarely causes symptoms. As many as 5 million adults in the UK have undiagnosed high blood pressure, so will not know that they are at risk, according to the British Heart Foundation. Moreover, the UK government says that it is projected to affect more than one. 5 billion people around the world by 2025. Fortunately, there are often effective steps that people can take to lower high blood pressure. The prevalence of high blood pressure for adults in England in 2015 was 31% among men and 26% among women, with little change over the last few years, according to Public Health England PHE. This is considered to place a considerable strain on the NHS, and can cause several negative complications. Fortunately, there are several ways to keep a healthy level, including adopting certain diets. Kai Ali, pharmaceutical scientist and head of formulation at Super Botanic, says that incorporating herbs into diet can help reduce and prevent high blood pressure. Cancer, the popular UK drink doubling the risk of bowel cancer, it's drunk by millions Kai says that curcumin has anti-inflammatory effects and is an extraordinarily strong antioxidant. There have been many meta-studies to show how curcumin can help reduce high blood pressure, by reducing inflammation of blood vessels, hinder clotting of the blood, and lowering cholesterol levels, the pharmacist adds. Indeed, a systematic review published in PubMed.gov looks at a total of 11 studies comprising 734 participants. It says results of the meta-analysis suggest that consuming curcumin may improve blood pressure when administered in long durations. However, more studies are needed to confirm these results. Pfizer booster shot, the unexpected side effect after third dose Omicron, two symptoms that come on rapidly Gary Lineker health, damage might have been done Kyle adds that Moringa, often known as the miracle tree or the the tree of life as it is one of the most nutrient dense plants on the planet is a great natural source of potassium. Potassium helps lower sodium levels which is an indicator of high blood pressure. Potassium and sodium work together to control your blood pressure, Kai states. Lastly, the pharmacist says that saffron has antioxidant properties which helps maintain healthy arteries and blood vessels. The NHS says that you should also cut your salt intake to less than 6 grams a day, eat a low-fat, balanced diet and maintain a healthy weight. Some people with high blood pressure may also need to take one or more medicines to stop their blood pressure getting too high. High blood pressure, or hypertension increases your risk of serious problems such as heart attacks and strokes, if left untreated. The only way to find out if your blood pressure is high is to have your blood pressure checked. If you are overweight, a smoker, or have a family history of heart disease, you are considered at risk for high blood pressure and should have it checked once a year. Blood pressure is recorded with two numbers. The systolic pressure, higher number, is the force at which your heart pumps blood around your body. The diastolic pressure, lower number, is the resistance to the blood flow in the blood vessels. The NHS says, the target blood pressure reading for the over 80s is below 150 90ths of a millimeter of mercury when it's measured in the clinic or surgery, and below 145 85ths of a millimeter of mercury for home readings. While there are definite benefits from taking medicines to reduce blood pressure if you're under the age of 80, it's less clear if it's useful if you're over 80.
It's now thought that if you reach 80 while you're taking medicine for high blood pressure, it's fine to continue treatment provided it's still helping you and is not causing side effects.